everyone welcome to take three hopefully this one works and somebody can hear me it's been a very frustrating morning unfortunately in the craft room today um, hey welcome back Hannah tell me straight away whether you can hear me love I'm gonna type you a message can you hear me it's um, been, yes, on and off with my sound. I think it might be my phone on its last leg. So anyway, might be a good excuse to um, get a new phone. Oh, excellent. Wow. Oh, great. Well, we can get started. So sorry about that, anyone who's been trying to catch me. Anyway, getting on with it. Um, I don't know about uh, New Zealand. I just did see Sharon was watching there. Hi, Sharon. I don't know about New Zealand, but we're coming into graduation time of the year right now here in Australia. And I've had a few orders for graduation cards, which is really great. I love getting orders from people. Anyway, so what I sort of came up with overnight, and I don't pretend I invented this. It actually is a combination of a couple of cards that I... Um, found on Pinterest overnight um, is this little one here. Um, oh, don't don't panic. That's not a bad thing that that just happened. I haven't actually attached that yet. Um, I made this little tassel here to go on the top of, which is obviously my little mortar board hat here, um, and um, it's in blue, which I didn't have any black um, embroidery cotton. So I'm actually going to go to. Um, a store that will uh, remain nameless on Monday and buy some black or I may even just buy a commercially made tassel I don't know anyway but when I do get one I'm going to attach it in the middle there with one of our beautiful um, faceted gold gems there anyway so you can sort of imagine how that's going to look once I finish it on Monday to send it off anyway it folds nice and flat as you can see put it into a 15 by 15 envelope there for posting anyway so what I think the real clever part of this um, card is that I picked up is that it opens up and it's a corner pop-up card like that um, so basically I've decorated the inside as uh, my customer requested this is a picture of her beautiful daughter who's graduating in nursing and this little bit over here is what I've I've popped together here um, that basically is the colours for nurse graduates here in Tasmania is this beautiful teal colour or as close as I could get that's actually um, Coastal Cabana and I've used some of our beautiful sentiments as well so what I thought I might do is pop through how I made that for you and if you guys have got graduates in your family I'm sure this will be a you know just something a little bit different from them I have actually seen them made as um, gift card holders as well but I'm not going to do that this time okay so let's get on with it I'll just make sure my thing is weighted properly um, okay what's that Sharon oh well if the phone rings I will um, I will let you go Sharon that's not a problem anyway so how you start this one you've got a 8 by 8 inch piece of black cardstock and I'll just sit down now forgive me if everything wobbles a um yes a eight by eight inch piece of black cardstock and you get your trimmer which I'm absolutely loving my trimmer I hope everyone else is as well um, and you score it you score it at a halfway there at four inches and then this direction at four inches and then just one of the diagonals so take it from that corner to that corner so just one of the diagonals and you can score that way as well so that's the great thing about our trimmer is it's nice and long and you can get those long sort of edges in as well okay so this is where the magic happens so you've got your score lines there so just fold them like that and then this diagonal one, you fold it in. So you can fold it um, in ways. And then, oh, and then it will fold in. So this sort of reminds me like those pa uh, paper, um, those paper fortune telling things that we used to use at school. It's sort of that sort of 
isn't it? It's that sort of shape. So you've basically got like a, a crocodile mouth happening. So that's basically the shape of the card. So I'll grab my scorer. Just bear with me. I moved everything around so I could use a more steady surface. So score those folds nice and, and um, sharp. And then we can start doing some actual um, sort of we stick some of these surfaces down so that we actually get some some um, some some sort of that, that corner effect happening. So I'm not actually going to use that corner, we use that one. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, no, I can't, I've got to use that. Sorry, I'm just getting my or orientation right so that it's the same as my original card. Um, okay. I've made this worse than it has to be. Hang on, put it back there. I want that's it. That's the way I want it. I wanted the the blank panel on the left and the bendy panel on the right. So that's fine. Okay, I was right the first time. Okay, so getting some double-sided tape or some tear tape, we start sort of um, uh, sticking down some of these panels so that we get that corner to stay where we want it. So what we're going to do is stick down here. And you'll see what I'm doing in a minute. So that's this one. Hang on. So I'm going to stick down this corner. So you can do your tear and tape here and on this corner. Just have a little bit of a fiddle with this. I am just going to put it on in a blog so um, so uh, you know, you'll be able to see it in writing. It might be easier to follow. So we've got some there. So that's going to, if you turn it, that's going to stick down this corner bit here. Okay, but we have left a little... I don't know if you can see, I'll get a piece of stuff to put in there. We have actually left a little a little pocket there. And that's what I say people do these as gift cards. So if you leave that um, open, you can then slip your gift card in there. We do actually want to, do, um, to um, fold down this part as well. So a little bit more tear and tape. In there and in there. Okay. Thanks, Lisa. Yeah, I was quite pleased with it when it um, presented itself in my head this morning. Especially because I'd uh, promised to make this card for this lady weeks ago and I'd forgotten all about it in the excitement of looking forward to, you know, looking forward to on stage and stuff like that in a few weeks time. Okay, so we've got our corner there now and can you can see that it will close down like that. So it'll close down, that one will bend through and then it'll close down. So what we can now do is we can look at um, decorating some of our panels inside. So I'm going to make this one for my son, who's nowhere near um, graduating just yet, but he's doing engineering. So um, the colour for engineering is this green colour, which is pretty close to Call Me Clover. So is it Call Me Clover? Yeah, Call Me Clover. So I'll show you how I've made that very soon. Just bear with me for a second. So what I've got is I've got a panel. I've got three panels of white. I'm going to be making this one as a normal card and not a gift card. Three panels of white. So each of these panels, because we've got an, we started with an eight by eight, um, each of these panels is four by four. So what I'm doing is I'm getting a white layer which is half an inch smaller all the way around. So that one fits in just nicely there. And then I've got another panel of black which is just a tiny bit smaller so that's only an eighth, a eighth of an inch smaller again than your white so I've got two of those and we're going to decorate each of those panels with with, um, with something a bit special 
Okay, so we'll do the one with the um, the sash first. So I've cut this out of the garden, the Call Me Clover, and um, I started with a panel of Call Me Clover exactly the same size as the black panel because I wanted it to fit perfectly. And I've drawn a series of lines in pencil on this originally and then cut it out with scissors to give me this sash shape. Might be easier and far less um, confusing if I actually just, um, I'll put a picture of the template, I actually took a picture of it as I was doing it and I'll pop it in the comments of the video once I've shared it and you can do that yourself. But anyway, basically it's the same size as the, the black but with all the, the lines and things. So anyway, as I say, just to save confusing things, I'll pop the image into the um, into the comments after we've finished. So just taking that as a given. Um, also, because I like to look, make it look like a little bit like a, a t-shirt or a shirt underneath, I've got this little triangle of um, white. I'm just going to do Sammy a white t-shirt, that's my son's name. And that just fits up under this central V here. So it's just cut a little bit larger than the V so it sort of tucks in behind. So I might actually attach all those and then you can see the final little bit that actually gives it the look of a t-shirt. So I'll just grab some glue. Everything's a little bit further away with this setup so anyway so I'll just grab some glue and first of all I'll put my white t-shirt on. Put it on as central to your piece of card or your black layer as you can just so that it doesn't sneak out on the sides and then we're going to pop our sash on yes I think it'll be wonderful even for I mean even um, uh, Lisa I'm saying Yes, I'll definitely put that template there, but um, I think it'd be good for like, graduations. They have graduations for lots of schools now, you like primary schools and things like that. So I think it'd be good for just about anything. And you wouldn't have to do it just in black. I've seen, um, sorry, I'm just trying to find a, um, just a little wipe, a little excess glue there. I've seen them do, I mean, you graduate sometimes with a blue hat rather than a black one, which would be quite nice. Okay, so we've got that little template thing happened that there. So then what I did was just to give it a little, um, like a collar here, I've got a, and I could have done this beforehand, but you sort of have to do it when you've got all your pieces together. I've got our little circle, um, stitched circle here, and I'm going to just cut with my Big Shot, just cut a little nick, a little sort of round um, part of circle out of that just to make it look like a bit of a collar. Just bear with me for a second. And, uh, yeah, after the traumas today, I didn't think I was going to get on at all, so I'm quite pleased. So we're headed up to Launceston this afternoon to help my eldest son pack up his house and move back to Hobart, which is quite exciting. Well, it is for me anyway. Okay, so there we are. I've cut that. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to have to get the rubber onto there because the glue spreads, obviously, when you put it through the big shot. Um, so that glue's got a little bit splodgy. Um, yeah, so you get yourself a, a little, like, T-shirt collar happening underneath there. And then when we put it onto the... The white panel there you actually see um, you can actually see the outline of the t-shirt and it's really nice with these dies because it gives it like a little um, hem effect which is a little bit of embossing there as well so I'm just going to get a rubber because that splodged a bit I just get my glue sort of came out from its edges it got a little bit dirty so I'm just gonna rub that off it doesn't really matter too much for this it's nice to be clean. There we are. It's just a plain pencil rubber if you ever get that. If you haven't seen that tip before, it's a lifesaver. Wasted so much paper and so much glue before I, I realised. 
He had royal blue for woolen gown. Yeah, yeah, I notice each uni is different. So Taz Uni, um, as I say, the girl, the lady who I made this one for in nursing was this beautiful teal. And um, Sammy will be, when he does graduate, will be the green for engineering. Um, assuming he does graduate. Let's not jump the gun too much. Anyway, so we've got our, our little one there. So actually what I'll show you this briefly show you the first one I did I um, gave her a little pink polka dot shirt which I thought was quite cute I don't know that that's what she's going to wear I suppose if you wanted to get really down to it you could actually find out what the person's going to wear and and uh, match it accordingly but that's quite cute I thought um, I thought you could even get carried away and do it like a bow tie or a um, suit and shirt or something like that which would be really really fun Okay, so we'll just attach this to our, our white panel here, just there, and then we're going to pop it into our card, just like that. Hi Carol, thanks for joining me. It's been a bit of a trauma today getting myself up and, up and going. The, internet dropped out with the wind we've got and then my microphone wouldn't work and oh it's been such a day anyway we made it now okay a little bit too much glue julianne but that's the story of my life there we go okay so hopefully you can see that that's pretty cool i think so over here on the other side on the right hand side on my right hand side you've got this panel that folds over so what we're going to do is we're going to turn that into a, a solid panel as well and I don't know if you're anything like me you've got lots of school photos of your children or your grandchildren or whoever graduates you have in your life and hopefully them some of them are suitably embar uh, embarrassing this is my Sammy in first year high school I think I was trying desperately to find one of him in kinder but I couldn't find it so usually these things are lying around all over the place and and um, you know you, you're falling over them but today I couldn't find one to save myself so I found high school instead so I think that's suitably embarrassing for someone who's now 20 um, anyway so I'm going to use this one and I'm going to pop it on the other side you could even use maybe even what would be really embarrassing like a baby photo or something I don't know it depends if it's a boy or a girl doesn't it I mean my boys are embarrassed quite easily whereas maybe girls wouldn't be okay so that's Sammy there on a just and I thought I'd just pad that out because it's a very narrow photo I thought I'd pad it out with a little bit more of the same green but you could put um, a layer of paper behind there you could put um, you know you could do whatever you whatever you felt you wanted to do to reflect the personality of the person you're making the card for uh, so I'm just going to pop that onto my black there we go Sammy in all his glory he's not here at the moment so I can say that he's actually off studying for exams over at the uni think actually there's a girl involved but I won't talk about that on the internet it does seem to get very dressed up for somebody who's going to uni just to study and then just finally put this layer onto our white our other white panel just to sort of follow the pattern of the the layers we had for our first you know the, this side here okay so we've got him all mounted up so what we're going to do is mount him on this collapsible side here. We're only going to glue it onto the top part, onto the top quarter, the top half of that. So if you just, just if you can see that, I'm just going to put glue. It's a bit hard because it's a bit dark in this part of my room. Just on the top, sort of half of that. So it's the, the top of the collapsible side of our card and then pop that panel on there and again trying to line it up as well as you can with this one on this side so that you've got the same 
sort of top margins there and that it's about as straight as you can get it okay so that looks like a solid panel but as we know it's only um, glued at one half and it will actually when it dries it will actually flip out yeah see so that's how it flips and folds under but I'll let that dry first because I don't want it to come apart well, there you go so that's how it folds flat there I'll be careful with that because the glue will stick where I don't want it to stick so there we are that's two sides of our um, our pop-up card decorated so what I'm going to do because I'm not making this as I mentioned you can leave this bottom one just open and have that as a gift card but I'm not going to do that I've got a third white panel which I'm going to pop there and this one I will leave undecorated except for a sentiment just so that I can write when the day comes we can write our sentiment on there our, our greeting on there so I'm going to stamp that one first and I'm going to use the uh, Royal Peacock stamp set which is some lovely sentiments there for um, graduates and people who have achieved which is really good um, I'm going to use the the uh, very so very proud of you one and unfortunately all my stamps and things are on the other side of the room so I've got a block and I will block this one up and stamp it so we'll only stamp it on as you can see with this this corner here is closest to the front so I'm going to stamp my sentiment um, down in this corner. Sorry, I've got a bit behind with the uh, the comments there. Thanks, Wendy. Oh, welcome back. Thanks for sharing again. Yes, I think you can hear me this time, which is either a good thing or a bad thing. Maybe I'm best to craft in silence. Who knows? Anyway, so I'm going to pop this one down in this corner, just trying to make it as straight as I can. So very proud of you. I think that comes with being a parent sometimes, doesn't it? So very proud of them. Oh, you just saw the top of my head and my glasses. Anyway, so we'll pop that one there. And I'm going to put this one, as I mentioned, I'm going to put this one here at the bottom of our little pop-up. Just with some glue. As I say, again, you could go as you know crazy and as elaborate as you want with this panel just as you could with all the others um, but I find with cards that I make particularly for my boys they like they tend to be straight plain sort of guys not too much fancy about them okay so there we are now on its own that's not a bad card really is it I mean it's a it's fairly um it's customised and it's sort of a clever fold. Um, yeah, but I think we can go just a little bit more special with that, especially because it's for a um, for a graduation. That's where we add the, um, the the mortarboard. Okay, so we'll close that one down. I think that's dry enough now that I can close it. And there we are. So that's pretty good. So what I've done to make the mortarboard, obviously it's not that difficult, is I've got two five inch square pieces of um, basic black. Now the top one, and I don't know if you can see it, I always have trouble with this. It's one of the best embossing folders we have, but it's really hard to show. I've actually embossed it with the 3D, this um, subtle 3D embossing folder. Yeah, the subtle 3D embossing folder. Just gives it that look of... Um, of uh, fabric or um, uh, sort of uh, linen that's really really nice so I've got two because once you put it through the embossing folder it weakens the structure of it a little bit and um, and I, I sort of wanted it to be really sort of stiff and firm so that's why I'm putting the second layer there so we'll attach those both together and just to give it that added, added strength just probably use a little bit more glue than you would normally use um, there you go you have my permission and just pop them exactly line them up with each other and pop 
them together. So that's sort of like a double, just a, basically a double thickness of, of our cardstock there. And it's got some nice structure to it. There we go. So if you're anything like me, your impulse now would just be to dump that exactly in the centre. And, and there's no reason why you couldn't. Trouble is when you open it up, you're going to not, it's not going to sit flat. So you can imagine you've got it open up like that, but you've got this poking out with, a, with an edge at the end. It's not going to sit flat. It's going to sort of be at an angle. So what you need to do is attach it slightly off so that the air, so that the edge of your mortar board is actually on the, the edge of your card, if that makes sense. You'll see it as soon as I do it. So what I'm going to do is add some glue to this panel, which is eventually going to be our top panel. And then add our mortar board here. So it's just very on the edge. And then just move it a little bit so that it's the same front and back, left and right, close it down, close it down she says, okay so you can see there it's got more of an edge there and a slot so it's actually off centre and those ends are lined up with each other. Okay, so I'll just force that down. So there is our the basis of our card, basically. It's just the mortar board here. And what I'll do is I'll bring back in my... Uh, where's my tassel thing gone? Oh, here it is. So this, as I say, this was a blue one that I made. Did I say that in this video? I've made so many videos today. Um, yes, yeah, so this is a blue one, so I'm not actually going to use this one. I just wanted to practice the technique that I saw on on uh, Facebook, um, on uh, Pinterest, and I'm going to attach it, when I do get a black one, I'm going to attach it with one of our faceted gems. So basically the card will look, and it will just stick there for the moment, to be like that with our tassel there, and we can just pop it into the envelope. Um, I cho chose a nice big envelope just to give us that extra width there. Oh, it's come off, but anyway, that's all right. So that's basically it for today. That's my corner fold pop-up card um, disguised as a graduation mortarboard hat. Hopefully everyone liked that and get some use of it. As I mentioned, I will pop the template for that um, scarf, uh, whatever you want to call it, hood I think they call it, onto the comments. There's a picture with all the measurements and where you cut and everything. So you guys can give that a bit of a whirl. But um, I think that's really nice, a uh, picture of my boy there, um, all ready for him to uh, graduate in a couple of years. So anyway, I um, hope you guys um, enjoyed that and get a bit of use of that design. Um, it's, um, yeah, it's going to be, uh, I think I might do a few more and pop them on online, see how I go. Okay, thanks very much for bearing with me. It's been one of those days that I'd... Uh, probably shouldn't have even tried to get online but as I say um, away for the rest of the weekend um, and thanks guys thanks for sharing um, anyone who doesn't have an advisor or a demonstrator if you'd like to give me a call or drop me a line I would be happy to answer any questions you have about stamping up and placing orders and becoming a demonstrator if that's what you would like to do anyway have a great weekend everyone and I will see you next week